Preparations were clearly being made today to install the bridge. Watch till the end to see how things finished up. Another clear and sunny morning showed the west abutment off to good effect. On the east abutment, as the water taxi passed for the first time, it could be seen that the forms had been removed and the wall was being attended to. Steel work on the west abutment included grinding down and preparing some areas. Iron work on the other side involved preparing the supports. The electrode tells us very clearly that this is preparation for welding. Just before 11 o'clock, a shipment of what appears to be screens or fencing arrives. Much attention is focused on the east abutment, where elements are being blown clean, a boat has arrived, and the supports are receiving attention. Back on the west side, rebar is being installed and there's more welding. The mini rental excavator disappears from the west end only to reappear in the east with the compressor. Around the east abutment, work on the two supports, north and south, moves ahead quickly. When it comes to checking alignment, in this case of the rollers that will bear the bridge, there's little to beat a simple piece of string. Close to midday, the widely anticipated bulldozer makes its appearance. Unloading is pretty straightforward. It parks up close to the bridge. All the while, work on the west abutment is progressing. The same can be said of the work on the supports in the east. By late afternoon, repositioning and stabilisation by chaining of the counterweight is underway. And on the south support, on the east side, the alignment exercise is taking place. Work, of course, continues on the west abutment too. As the events of the day began to wind down, it's clear that on the east side at least, the situation is in an advanced state of preparation and the bulldozer is poised to give the big push. We can only wait and see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching.